Good evening, guys. Welcome back to Apollos. Happy to have you here as always. Uh, tonight's episode, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's just a little bit on the weird side we're going to be talking about. An infatuation, I, I suppose, of some of your favorite YouTubers, Whistle and Diesel, Daily Driven Exotics, and sort of what they have in common today. And additionally, a very high profile YouTuber, I'm not going to tell you right now, uh, has gotten rid of their hypercar, or at least it's for sale in a relatively permanent way, we think. And I want to make sure I tell you guys, uh, tomorrow is going to be a very special episode. We can finally pinpoint it. Tomorrow is the day we're going to be dropping sort of a big change coming to our channel from tomorrow, uh, seemingly until the end of time. Something that we uh, we have to discuss as a channel because I want to make sure we tell you guys everything. We have full disclosure of what's going on behind the scenes. And as always, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you love automotive and supercar community news, even the weird stuff like today. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. First up, guys, uh, most of you have already picked up on this, but I'll make sure I bring it to you in case you missed it. So a very special hypercar, a Bugatti Veyron, is going to be leaving the garage and channel of Manny Koshpin, listing it on Bring a Trailer, the 2006 Bugatti Veyron. Uh, the blue and white one, in case you were curious, he's got more than one, is for sale there right now and actually has a couple of different bids on it. And one of the most lively discussions that Bring a trailer has ever had in their comment section. Now, I believe if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, the current bid is a million dollars by someone named T. Buckley. Now, I don't know who that is. I don't know if it's associated with a YouTuber or whatever it happens to be. Uh, we did hear sort of behind the scenes rumors that a couple automotive YouTubers, I can't say who, uh, were looking to bid on Manny's Bugatti Veyron, this particular one that's on Bring a Trailer right now. Now, right now there's 17 bids and the time left is one day and 17 hours uh, I think there's a very good chance this bid is going to go all the way up to like the 1.3 1.4 million dollar level and the real question is whether or not there's going to be a reserve on it and with that reserve has been met um, I can't imagine it's going to be sold at like a million dollars even with the amount of miles that's on this particular one I want to say it's 14,000 miles if we have that number correctly yeah 14,000 miles on his Bugatti Veyron actually pretty decent number number, uh, considering that one of the criticisms that Manny Koshman has is that he doesn't drive his cars enough, and I believe he put a good chunk of these miles on himself. Holy f Okay, anyway, now that I'm done with Megan scaring me, uh, yeah, anyway, make sure to go check it out, guys. Definitely one of the craziest things that has ever been on Bring a Trailer, and I'm excited to see what Manny is going to be replacing uh, the old school blue and white Bugatti Veyron with coming next. He has a lot of crazy stuff on order, and I'm very excited to see sort of what's gonna be uh, taking the place in the garage moving forward. All right, next up, guys, it's a subject I never thought I would be talking about, but here we are. So a couple days ago, we talked about the fact that Whistle and Diesel was looking to buy like a $12,000 pair of Air Jordans to turn into work boots and basically anger an entirely new section of the YouTube and Instagram world, the, the, the shoe people. I don't know, maybe they have a cool name for themselves. Uh, it seems Daily Driven Exotics also cashing in on the shoe world. Damon Fryer taking to his personal Instagram account to post this, showing the Carrera GT in the background and the caption below saying, my new Carrera GT driving shoes. And you can tell it if you zoom in just a little bit. Also, Air Jordans. Now, I'm not like the biggest shoe person in the world, so I couldn't tell you if these are like a $10,000 shoe. Uh, maybe someone in the comments can tell me what version of Air Jordans these are. I'm just not very like shoe knowledgeable. Uh, but what I can tell you is it's very funny the timing between Daily Driven Exotics buying some Jordans or at least wearing them for the Carrera GT and the post that we got from Whistle and Diesel confirming, uh, I guess, every shoe person's worst nightmare. So this picture you're seeing right now shows the order form for Air Jordan 1 Red Retro high for twelve thousand dollars with the caption below saying finally ordered my new work boots i can't wait to pour my driveway in these they should be good since they cost as much as 133 pairs of ariats i hope that's how you pronounce that also not a shoe person i don't know uh they're anti-slip too supposedly basketball players use them everyone at the cattle farm is going to love them and what i thought was really special about this is that after these two shoe posts went live within like a day of each other someone decided to tag whistle and diesel saying you and whistle 
whistle and diesel both. Uh, just funny timing on that. And I guess what's interesting about this and why we're talking about it is automotive YouTubers, for the most part, stay within their little zone. They do like, you know, fun donuts and different builds and they wrap a car and we've all seen it for many, many years. And whistle and diesel, It'd be a stretch to even call him an automotive YouTuber anymore because he's transcended way beyond that. I feel like the playbook for Whistle and Diesel, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, seems to be uh, find objects, whether they're uh, interesting trucks or R32s or Air Jordans, uh, that people generally really love and cherish in some way, and then destroy them on camera and get, you know, millions if not tens of millions of views. I've often said I think it's a brilliant strategy, and honestly, probably the primary reason why he's been able to transcend every other automotive YouTuber in the span of like a year and a half. Uh, nobody gets views that are like 10 to 20 million views on videos like Whistle and Diesel does on a regular click. Uh, it's a crazy thing, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if Whistle and Diesel is one of the largest creators on the platform moving forward. Um, there's just not too many folks like him. What do you guys think of the Air Jordan stunt? Uh, let me know what you think. It's a very interesting interesting ploy, and I think we're going to see it very soon on his channel. Next up, guys, a review that I have been waiting for for some time. It's Throttle House coming in hot. 2022 Maserati MC20 review, the $250,000 supermodel. I personally love the MC20, guys. I think it's a car that has been much needed from Maserati. Uh, Maseratis, for me, when I was a kid, they were uh, sort of held in reverence, and they lost that. From like 2000 on, a lot of people started hating on Maserati because the stuff they were turning out just wasn't that good. The MC20 is a departure from the garbage they've been spewing for a number of years, and I think people absolutely love it. Just make sure to watch the review from Throttle House. I think you guys will have an immense appreciation for what the MC20 is moving forward. And it's just an honestly fantastic review. It's one of the many reasons why I've been sub to Throttle House for years. Skimming through the rest of the news, guys. Supercar Blondie, Dubai's millionaire VIP driving school, because of course Dubai has something where you can uh, learn to drive in a G-Wagon or a Porsche, and I'm just not really surprised anymore. It's a crazy video, though. If you want to see how the, the most elite children of the world live, this is going to be a great video for you. And props to the Supercar Blondie team for doing a fantastic job uh, allowing me to learn something brand new today. Next up, guys, I gotta recommend Doug DeMuro's latest video, because it's a car that I I absolutely love. The video is called the 2021 Mercedes AMG E63 Wagon is the dream family car. So I love shooting brake. I love wagons. I love the E63. It is uh, not hyperbole to suggest that it's the, the dream family car in the title. Um, I just have always had a love for these vehicles and I want to make sure I sort of share that love with you guys. Doug DeMiro does a fantastic job reviewing this vehicle and uh, you might consider it. It's a little bit expensive the way that most cars are nowadays, but uh, well, worth it if you've got the cash lying around. And our last two for the day, guys. Automotive Life explaining why you need to get the heck out of Turo right now. It's called Leave Turo Now. Simply that. Um, Automotive Life, Lucky, uh, the, the host of that show, has done a fantastic job uh, bringing issues that you might not have known about. Otherwise, uh, Lucky has a vast knowledge of the automotive world, and I'm so happy to see his channel blowing up the way that it is right now. Make sure to subscribe to his channel today. You will be very very happy you did so, uh, sort of the insider track on all things automotive. And ending our day with Sarah in tune, guys. Her latest video, there's not much left. Ranger 4x4 frame off restoration. Uh, talk about a channel blowing up. Sarah in tune uh, for a number of months now is getting massive views and rightfully so. If you've never checked out her channel, make sure to go do so, guys. Uh, I'm very happy that I subbed and I think you will be too. And folks, all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for a very special episode. And uh, yeah, things are going to be a little bit different moving forward. But I think all for the best. Have a great evening. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. We'll see you later. And make sure to ignore the haters. That's all I got, guys. Bye.